Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is T Sen. It's so great to have you all here. So I'm here right now and I'm looking into June the 21st and the 22nd is 2023. Now I did just do a video for you, but um, I did remember that somebody said um, that the volume is really low. So I made sure that the volume was really, really high in this video right here. And I'm going to go ahead and do another video just in case you didn't hear the first one for whatever reason. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the message right now. Happy birthday to the sign of cancer. I really do hope that you enjoy your birthday. Okay. Let's see what we have here. This is June 21st and the 22nd is 2023. Message for the collective, please. Allow me now to be the channel, please. All right. So, we have the Memories of Love card. Also, if you hear some buzzing in the back, background, I apologize about that. That's the air conditioner. It is really hot where I'm at, so I have to have the air conditioner on, okay? All right, let me see what else we got going on here. The Sun card is the top one. I'll take that one right there. Right, let's see what else we're going to get here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, June 21st and the 22nd. It's 2023. All right, so there we go. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Shadow card. Could be a Pisces or Cancer. Mm hmm all right, so we have right here the Six of Cups, the Memories of Love right here, the Star card, the Hope card, um, and then right here the Fertility card, the Empress card is right there. All right, let me see now what I'm going to get right here in the Kippers. Right? So something to go just like that. This is the Wealthy Man right here. All right, let's see what else. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. All right, so we have right here the False Person and the Concern card right here. Alright. I don't know if somebody's name is Dominique. I'm getting like Dominique, okay? So the main male right here. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we have coming up here in this message. So the first card we have right here is Memories of Love, which is the Six of Cups right here. But somebody's thinking about the past right here, okay? This could be a wealthy man. Okay, so it could be a wealthy man, it could be a wealthy woman. Take it away, it resonates. But that card says wealthy man, so I'm thinking it's a wealthy man to you. Okay, what's the message, please, right here? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. All right, memories of love. Okay, what's the message right here? There's memories of love card right here, please. So I feel like in the past, right, um, something didn't move forward with a cherry car reverse. Maybe something here didn't move forward. Maybe somebody didn't let go of a cancer. This could even be a cancer. The cherry car could represent cancer. The cherry car reverse also could represent um, not moving forward, not traveling. Okay. All right. Six of Wands is here. This is a card about being victorious and successful right here. So maybe somebody here was thinking they could be um, successful, not traveling. Or maybe they thought they could be successful over here without the cancer. Could be the case. Okay. Just a message right here, please. Let me read the love card right here. Okay, so the king of, <clears throat> king of wands right here. Could be an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius right here. Could be a leader or entrepreneur right here. Okay. For a sword, stuff like they're thinking about it. They're thinking about this cancer, or they're thinking about the fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius right now. All right, or they're thinking about how victorious the cancer is, or something like that. What successful this cancer is right here. Now do you have Aries right here, the Emperor card right here, and the Four of Wands. All right. Yeah, they're thinking about how they walked away from something right here, from traveling. Or they walk away to a cancer or from a cancer. That's they're thinking about right here. Okay. That could be an Aries. Because the Emperor is Aries right here. And then the King of Wands is also an Aries right here. So it could be definitely an Aries or a Cancer. I'm getting right here. Leo or Sagittarius right here. So that's they're thinking about. How they didn't travel. Or how, um, you know, they thought they would be okay without the cancer. Or how you or whoever, right? What's the wealthy man card? What's the wealthy man card right here, please? Okay, so the nine of swords. So they have anxiety now about it, I feel. Some people right here. Yeah. Yeah, the wealthy man card right here. All right. I feel like they have anxiety right here with the nine of swords. 
Okay. About some choice they made in the past right here. About being your lover right here. Yeah. The Queen of Wands right here and the Lovers card. Some choice they made about being in love. This even could be a Gemini. The Lovers card could be a Gemini or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius right here. Okay. The Magician. So I just feel like they, you're definitely consciously aware right here. Okay. What choice has somebody made in the past about something right here? I feel like they're stuck right here. All right, or they're stuck right here because I feel like um, they could have chose the Queen of Wands over the Cancer or the Aries. Could be the case too. So maybe they did. Maybe they chose the Queen of Wands over the Aries or something. The Cancer. I feel like somebody's definitely consciously aware about some choice that they was making right here in the past in some way. Or they didn't travel. You know, they stuck right here. You're consciously aware about the fact they wasn't traveling before or something. So I do feel like they was having hope right here. A star card is a card about hope and blessings right here. Okay. Um, being optimistic right here. And this card made me feel like somebody had awakening right here. Okay, you take a look at it for real. So like somebody had a spiritual awakening right here. Okay. Somebody knows that somebody's a false person I feel right here. Okay, it could be a craze that knows about it or anybody else. They can know about the craze, okay? What's the hope card right here? Yeah, Ace of Wands right here. Okay. Um. Now, this is always could be. This could be right here that somebody was having hope for somebody that was a false person. Maybe somebody knew they wasn't traveling over here. Or well, they just wasn't traveling. They wasn't. They, was, they could have been hesitant or stagnant in some type of way. Somebody was still having hope right here. Or on somebody here that was false in some way, maybe. Okay. Some mess for him, yeah, because I feel like somebody was having somebody having hope about traveling in some way. All right, I feel like they wasn't traveling for some people right here. What is this one right here? The page of cups right here is reversed. Yeah, so you know, either they didn't apologize to you, or they could have had hope right here, they didn't have to apologize to you, or you know, they didn't send love messages or anything. I feel for some people right here, but some people they didn't send love messages or anything like that. So I don't know if they was being real cold hearted or what, and they could have thought. I don't know. Let me see. Two of Pentacles right here. Yeah, that's some kind of. I feel like this person is a little bit cold right here. The energy that I'm feeling coming from this person is like cold hearted or something like that. I feel like they wasn't sending love messages or anything. They wasn't trying to start anything here. They didn't apologize about something or something like that. I feel like they didn't do anything right here. Okay, and they could be having hope for something right here. I feel to be somebody's lover. I feel like they was having hope to be somebody's lover. That's what I'm getting right here. They wasn't sending love messages. They wasn't apologizing. Right here. Because I feel like they were juggling for some people right here. You know, they could be a player. Okay. I feel like they're a player or something like that. Alright, what's the first person card right here? What's the first person card up here? Ace of Cups. They want a new start. <laughs> Some people here, I feel like they want a new start for some people right here. Is, I wonder, is this somebody you live with? The Ace of Cups could be a house. Maybe you live with them. Some people right here. Okay, now this could be the past for some people here, but yeah. What's the first person right here? Yeah. So I feel like they couldn't put on this persona here in some way. They wasn't sending love messages. They wasn't apologizing for anything. They wasn't anything. I feel like I feel like they're just really cold here. They false. They can't hold on some mask or something like that. They was having hope, but I feel like they they're not gonna be able to hold this mask and be fake or something like that and have a relationship and see results. I feel you know. I feel like they was being false right here in a relationship with some people right here. It could be in a house, all right, or being fake right here. They could that they was coming to travel to somebody or that something like that. Okay, I feel like the, the third party is revealed. Could be a Leo for some people right here with a sun card. Maybe a third party is revealed. Okay, and I feel like, you know, somebody sees them as false now or something here. Okay. So, the fertility card right here. This concern card right here. Alright, so somebody here is now have a concern, I feel, about even the empress or the empresses or something like that with the fertility card. Could be a mother. 
with the fertility card right here. Yeah, the five of swords. Okay, so they defeated right here by the empress or something like that. You know, the queen of cups. Yeah. So I feel like this cancer over here. Yeah, I feel like because the queen of cups could be a cancer. Could be a Pisces or a Scorpio right here. You know. But they could be defeated in court. Maybe here the justice card. Maybe defeated in court. Maybe defeated because this is karmic law or something like that. Something is karma. Okay, but the five of swords is deception and defeat. So I feel like they're defeated right here. Okay, somebody could be concerned about a legal situation right here. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like somebody didn't think they had to apologize or anything like that. They didn't have to send love messages. They didn't have to do anything. I feel like they was just juggling over here, doing them, something like that. I feel. And they could have thought right here they could have some relationship. I feel like now they're concerned about court or something like or a Libra or something like that, right? So I feel like they're concerned about the Taurus or something like that. Yeah, because somebody knows that you believe yourself, believe in yourself, you could be victorious in court. I feel like you could be victorious right here in court. In a court case, something like that. Okay, they're heartbroken right here. Three of swords. They know you could be victorious right here in court. Okay, what's the concern card? Yeah. They know you can be toys in court or something like that. Okay, yeah. I feel like they've been awakened right here. Okay, or they're concerned right here how the judgment is going to be made in court, I feel, for some people right here. How is it going to go down to court? What judgment is going to be made in court or something like that? Yeah, because the truth is here. Okay, but somebody does know you can be victorious in court. I feel like they know that for some people here. They know that, I feel, for people right here. Yeah, if it's not in court, it's karma, something like that. Yeah. But somebody does know right here that they don't have their heart into something right here. All right. The two of swords, maybe they didn't see they was going to go to court. They're concerned now, I feel. Or how karma is going to play something out right here. Something. It could be a husband right here with the king of um, pentacles. Could be a Taurus Capricorn of Echo. And they could be spying on you for some people right here. All right. But they also could see right here. Um, hey, you know the truth about something right here. What's the shadow card? Could be a Pisces or Cancer right here. But I feel like whatever's in the dark is coming to light in some way right here. Okay? Because somebody's skilled with the Eight of Pentacles. They're very skilled right here. Okay? It even could be somebody knows why somebody now wants to put in some work or be focused upon something here in some way. Maybe somebody knows why they want to do that now in some way. Okay? What's the message right here? Please, the shadow card. Yeah, Seven of Wands. I feel like you're very defensive right here. You even could be watching your money for some people right here. I feel like you're definitely watching your money here for some people here. Okay? Because I feel like whatever's going to dark is revealed or something like that. Somebody does know that what it's a secret right here about it in some way. Something about money. They know to hide their money or something like that. They know that, I feel. I feel like somebody got some money here hidden in some way. Yeah, they do, I feel. It's over here. Okay? The Ace of Pentacles right here. And the... um. Ten of Pentacles right here. This is the money right here. Okay. So that's the money right there. I feel like the shadow card is hidden. Okay. So that's some hidden money I feel for some people right here. This card right here is defensive or is locked up or something like that. They knew to they knew to hide their money or to move it or something like that. Somebody know that right here. Okay. They they're absolutely skilled right here. They know that I feel. Somebody overextended themselves. You you know, I feel like you know about some money or something like that. Yeah. What's the main name? Okay. Yeah, it's too hard for them to be trustworthy. They know that. It's too hard for them to be trustworthy right here in some way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's going to come to light in some way in a community or something like that. It's going to come to light right here. See how this one's like this in reverse? I feel like they don't even show up in the community or they don't be together or something like that, right? So somebody's going to realize they're not together, I feel. Okay. Because the moon card is over here. Okay. It could be still hitting for now, but it will be real. Okay, somebody's a psyche. Could be a Virgo right here. Okay, but somebody's definitely a psyche, and somebody's going to realize right here that the Virgo is hot in this person, or that this person is hot in the Virgo, or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's going to come out in the future right here. Three of Wands. Something like that is going to come out in the future too. Okay. They know that right here. You know. Yeah. The Knight of Pentacles in the Fool card right here. You know. They're thinking about all of this right here. I feel. How something is going to come to light in the future, something like that. They worry about it. They know that something's going to go to court right here. 
and everything like that. If they wasn't giving anybody, somebody here love gestures or anything, I feel like they wasn't right here. Okay, they could even have hope they didn't have to apologize about something that's going on here, some type of way. Okay, so I feel like whoever this person is cold hearted for real, I feel like they're really cold hearted right here. I feel, yeah, this could be a merge. I said this to somebody before the earth signs. I said, I hope the cold hearted person isn't married. I feel like this is a merge, could be a tourist for some people right here. Okay, but anyway, yeah, that's what I have right here. Thank you so much for tuning to this message, and we'll get back together again soon. And I send you peace, blessings, love, and light. So now I stay to you.